This AQ! AQ! And the baby's coming out. Fellas, again, focus on yourself. That's what it is. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy AQ, and I'm back with another reaction video for you guys today. And the video that we're going to do a reaction to today is from Pop the Balloon or Find Love. Let's jump right into the video. You got it. Okay, so let's have our next contestant come out. Okay, so say your name, what you do, and give us a fun fact about you. So my name is Rich. I'm an architect. Uh, fun fact about me, I used to play rugby for six years. Okay, okay, nice, nice. So we don't have any ladies that pop their balloon. So I'm actually gonna give you the opportunity to pop one balloon. I don't wanna pop nobody's balloon. I mean, I don't look like beautiful ladies. Okay, okay, so then choose one lady to ask a question. Green. In the green? Okay, so let's step over. What do you see uh, in a lifetime partner? Ooh, good question. I think we've met. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, in a lifetime partner, I don't know, I think I see like an equal partnership where we work to really like build a solid future together, a solid foundation where there's mutual love and respect and understanding and we're building together. You know, we have shared goals, values, all those things. You like that answer? Love that answer. Okay, what are some of those goals and values? I mean, I think I'm someone who like wants to own a home again or buy properties or I own my own business right now. So someone who's going to be supportive in that journey as well and like be my cheerleader and yeah. Okay, okay. Being a woman cheerleader is kind of crazy. It's one thing to support a woman in her business endeavors, but being a cheerleader, <laughs> that just makes it seem very independent. And as a man, you got to be careful dealing with women like that. Because instead of she being your support system, she might try to be your competitor. And fellas, trust me, when you're dealing with independent, driven women, it's not fun. So keep that in mind, fellas. Keep that in mind. Okay. So I'm actually going to give the ladies an opportunity to ask you a question. So do any of the ladies have any questions that they want to ask him? Okay, so Juan, go ahead and introduce yourself because he hasn't met you yet. I'm Nubia, and I wanted to ask you, how old are you? 30. Okay, introduce yourself. I'm Naisha. Nice to meet you. And I just wanted to ask you, how do you show up for your partner in a relationship? Like, what are the ways that you like to show up? Mm -hmm. And um, what, like, what does that look like for you? Uh, so for me, I'm a big giver. I love cooking for my partner. I love doing it. Like, I'm very big into cooking, but I love trying to support wherever you can. Just like we talked about earlier about owning a business or whatever you're doing in your life. If you have to stay late at work, I like to support all that. Okay, was that a good answer? That's a great answer. Okay, okay. So let's step back. So Rich, I know you don't want to pop anybody's balloons, but you have to pop. You have to pop two ladies' balloons. We have to narrow it down. That's rough. So you have to go maybe based off look, based off of anything. Y'all, yeah, but y'all, lovely ladies. I mean, we got great responses. Okay, so you popped these ladies' balloons. Come on, let's walk over here. Why did you pop Chioma's balloon? Honestly, it was just too skinny. Okay, okay. So you like them a little, little thicker? A little... Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Chioma, how do you feel about that? I feel any type of way. Um, I do. I am a, I'm a petite, tall girl, so. Okay, okay. Let's take a walk over. So why did you pop her balloon? Uh, I wasn't loving the sandals. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> you don't like these sandals and you have on Clarks. These are way out of fashion. You can't be talking to me. And you know why you popped that balloon because you knew I was gonna to took because you know you out my no, I'm out your lead. Come on now, let's be for real. Let's be for real. Your chest higher than mine at this point. So you can too loose. <laughs> you know my routine. I do the popping after I ask questions because I give people a chance. That's just me. But you knew I was gonna anyway. Okay. Fellas. You got to know how to spot a bird a mile away. And homie, 
He peeped the bird in her from the jump. Always pay attention to the signs, bro. The fake hair with the cleavage showing, breast implants, BBL with the Dior sandals, all that. Show a bird. He saw the bird in her, man. Get her out of here. Okay, okay, okay. So how do you, let's st take a step back. How do you feel about your choices? Very good. Okay. Little did she know that was a test. Okay, so so we have three more ladies who have balloons. And I'm going to give the ladies another shot to ask you a question. So any other ladies want to ask a question, Kathleen? Hold on, let's walk over to Kathleen. So you said that you played rugby for how long? Six years. And what made you decide to play rugby versus American football, football, or as other, you know, Americans call soccer? And right. Basketball, what, like yeah. why, why rugby? So I played football in high school. And when I got to college and have a football team, the rugby coach saw me and was like, you should play rugby, but I never heard of it ever in my life. So I was like, sure, I'll look it up, whatever. I actually ended up falling in love with the sport. So, so would you say that rugby is um, more of an involved in, I guess, enriching sport than American football? Yes. Um, wow. It is known as a gentleman sport. There's a lot more sportsmanship that is actually put into the game and after the game. So we do a thing called a drink up afterwards. So after the game is done, the losing team, actually the winning team pays for the losing teams to drink afterwards. It's a very, it's a gen, and you shake hands and everything. It's a very gentleman sport. Okay. Do you have any questions for Kathleen? Um, I guess we want to know age and what do you do? I'm 31 and I'm a marketing consultant. Okay. So let's take a step back. Let's take a step back. We still have balloons. So you have your pin. Okay. So I need you to pop one more pin. All right. I'll have to go <laughs> Okay, let's walk over to Nyja. Why did you pop Nyja's pin? Honestly, it was just a, it's a tough. Trip. It was tough. Okay, okay. So let's take a step back. Um, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to ask Eva a question. So Eva, I know that you do therapy. Um, how can you create that boundary between like your work and your life without having to like psychoanalyze me and being used at that against? Me? Great question. Um. It's actually really important for me to have work-life balance and separation. So I think I do a really good job at making sure I'm taking care of my mental health and doing what I need to do for self-care, whether that's walking or meditating or exercising in other forms, uh, traveling. I do a lot of things to make sure like I'm emotionally okay and able to separate my home life from my work life. I will also say like part of my tools, quote unquote, being a therapist is also part of who I am. I'm a good listener. I'm empathetic and all of those things so i think those pieces of myself is important to be in my relationship so yeah now i want you to ask kathleen a question let's see do you i'm gonna go to a basic question do you want kids yes how many mm, two and a half that's like a pet yeah or not you okay are you into pets yes do you have any pets no no so you're open to pets do you want to ask a question? You see where this is going? <laughs> do you have any um, like pets that you wouldn't do? Forget lizards. I know lizards and reptiles. Not, no, I mean, but... that's fine with me. I actually had an iguana when I was younger. So I get that. I would say two only because of bad experiences I've had with them. Rabbits and ferrets. Okay. What happened with the rabbit and the ferret? The well, the rabbit stank and it chewed the baseboards of all my cousin's uh, crib. Uh, and he was renting, so he had to fix all of that. <laughs> <laughs> and then the ferret, same thing. They just stank. I mean, it was just smelly and I was like, don't want to do all that upkeep. That's fair. Okay, so was that a good answer? Perfect. Okay, okay. So we still have no pop balloons. So, Rich, it's in your hands now. I want you to either, this is what you're going to do. I did Oh, we have a pop balloon. Okay, come on, come on. Let's ask her why she popped her balloon. I just get friend vibes. Okay. okay. She probably got scared, man. Because why you left your balloon on pop all this time, and when it came down to just you and another chick, you popped your balloon. It's simply because she's scared of rejection. Sad. Okay, and we don't want to date our friends. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> friendship is a great foundation for a relationship, but I think there needs to be a friendship and also an attraction. I just don't feel that part of it. So. Okay. 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 So, well, we just have Kathleen. So let's take a walk over. Kathleen, how are you feeling? Good. You're feeling good? Okay. Okay. So actually, let's, let's take a walk over here. I want to see. I want to see. I'll have you on this side. So, yeah, yeah, you have to match it a little bit, match it a little bit. Okay, okay. So, you know, it sounds like he's very open to animals. He had an iguana. You know, he's in a gentleman club. Was there, was there like an animal that is, there, is there a specific one as well? Yeah, if you said cats, I would have been like, I would, oh, no, no, no. I grew up with cats my whole life. So you're... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So, okay, so is it worth going on, you know, taking it to the next level, you know, seeing where it goes outside of this? Do we have a match? Are you asking me? Yes. I think so. Okay, what about you? Agreed. Agreed. Okay, so we have a match. <laughs> Yo, my man came up, man, but listen. These women here couldn't handle rejection, bro. <laughs> This is crazy. He popped the bird balloon and she couldn't stand still ever since. It really bothered her. Huh? She kept her balloon unpopped the whole time. And when he came to him having to pick one, she popped her own balloon, man. It's crazy. Fellas, always pay attention to the signs. The signs are always there. These women are who they are, bro. Be wise out here, fellas.